How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. <laughs> and folks, it's still winter time. It's even cold yes. here in Texas. It's like frigid outside. So, so we need something to warm us we up. We gotta keep on going with those winter comfort <laughs> dishes. Today is no exception. It is one of the best. It is one of the most heartwarming. We are doing our hearty beef stew. Oh. Boy, is it hearty. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you eat this, you're gonna be so heartwarmed and filled with heart goodness. And yeah. Anyway, well, <laughs> so let's talk about let's talk about the important stuff with this uh, hearty beef stew. It's wine. <laughs> it's wine and beer. Yes. So this is wine sort and of beef. And beef, sorry. Wine and beer. No, wine and beef. So this oh. is sort of like a riff on a very classic French dish called, and I'm going to say the name wrong, beef bourguignon. You have to say it like with a little bit of a, you know, like Inspector Clouseau would say. But bourguignon. Bourguignon. bourguignon you know, the something. way phonetically it looks like. But anyway, it's burgundy beef. Bourguignon. Really what it is. Bourguignon. And, um, but this is more of a stew, and it's so delicious. So let me tell you, I've got a yes. few things that I've prepped before we got started. We did. It's really easy. So we just take a nice chuck roast. This is going to kind of slow Look at cook. That beef. You can either do this in your uh, oven on low heat, or you know, in your in like a Dutch oven, or you can do this in your slow cooker. Um, but it's going to slow cook, and that chuck is kind of marbled. It's not kind of it's marbled, and so all of that uh, tissue is going to break down, and oh, it's going to become it's so tender, add so, so much delicious. flavor. Oh. So to lock in the flavor, what? Well, first of all, what we did is I got about a three and a half pound chuck roast. I got a knife and I just started uh, cutting just it, diced up. it up. Yep. I cubed it up, and I left them nice and big because this is hearty right to hearty and it, stew and it cooks for a while so they'll they cook they'll down a little them. bit yeah. and they're going to release some delicious juice and it's it's so good so make them nice hearty and kind of chunky and um, <laughs> so then what we did is we got some uh, seasoned flour which is just like a half a cup of flour and i put in some salt and pepper about a half a teaspoon tasp Half a teaspoon each, yeah, and then t toss that up, and then I put in about half of that beef that I cut up, tossed it all around. Then I got my trusty Dutch oven, a large skillet, saucepan, whatever. Mm. Put some, uh, some. You want to start off with some olive oil, a couple tablespoons, and then a couple tablespoons of, of unsalted butter. butter. Yeah. Get that melted, and then you're going to dump that in there. And I just let it sit for about five minutes and let that on the bottom really get nice just get and hot. Yeah, it's yes. going to get really hot, and it's going to form a crust, which is one of the main reasons we do this. Yeah. It's not really so much just to cook it, it's to sort of lock in all of that incredible flavor. And so we do that in two batches. So then we use our <laughs> slotted spoon to remove it. Like I said, it's still not fully cooked. No, it's, but I wish um, I could eat it though. I know. Well, it I'm smells surprised. delicious. It's already smelling amazing. Okay. <laughs> the dogs then are Then what it. we've got over here, so now let me let me continue. So now yes. we're just gonna build build the hardiness. Build we're continuing <laughs> to build the hardiness. We gotta have heart. So what we've done is in the same the same pot, now you're gonna see because of there's that flour and the meat, it got nice and uh, kind of charred on the bottom, and, and that's delicious. There's so much flavor in there, and we're going to deglaze in just a moment with this whole bottle of wine. That's <laughs> that's like, the bourguignon. The, yes, it's the burgundy part. <laughs> yes. So anyway, but we're almost there. But first, we need to cook down some vegetables. So in that, if you need to add a little more oil or butter, go ahead. But I've added um, one cup or like a medium yellow onion that is finely chopped, um, some celery that's finely chopped, and some carrot that's fine, that's diced to a yes. couple of carrots. I hope I did that a in the right order. If you will. It's a mirapaw, it's a miracle. <laughs> but it's a miracle. Anyway, it's a miracle that I got that out without uh, falling all over my face. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> then what I love to add to this, it's just it you've already got some onion in here and you may think, why are we doing more onion? It's because it adds a little yeah, texture. So these guys are delicious. These pearl, Those onions, pearl onions. And if you can find fresh, great. If you Frozen yes. works beautifully. I'm telling you now, I have no problem with, with you guys using frozen. <laughs> no way. We okay. do it all the time. That's right. Okay, so now what I need you to do, yes. Loon, if you can, is so we're also going, in addition to, it's mostly wine, but the wine is going to cook down and the uh, alcohol is going to cook out, which means you have to open another bottle and drink it yourself. Um, but th we're going to add some tomatoes. So this is a 28-ounce can of San Marzano tomatoes. Yes. You know how much we love those. We're draining them. They come from the base of Mount Vesuvius. Yes. They're so incredible. That soil and, is delicious. And you want to drain them. Yes. And then I wanna, I'm going to get my hand in there and 
squish them <laughs> so that they're good and broken up. Yeah, oh. I, there's a, there's an old wives tale, and who are we to argue with old wives that um, <laughs> the best way to really chop a tomato is with your hands. <laughs> Plus, I, this is fun and it's fun. So okay, so one that and then what we're gonna do? We're gonna so the tomatoes, the wine, and some beef stock, and that's gonna go Ooh. into the mix. And that's, that's a party. It's a party. I mean, it already <laughs> smells and sounds amazing, right? Okay, so now I'm pouring an entire bottle of wine in there, and you may think, wow, that seems like that's going to be really <laughs> wine tasting -y. Well, it's French, so it is, but no. No, it, it's, not, it's not. Not at all. It's not. It's it not. adds this richness to it, it that's it, it, so it, good. Like I said, but it's really important. Okay. How oh, do we I'm squishing. Okay, boy. Am I, I done? I gave you a task, and you really... Well, took, you know, I like okay. to... Uh, you don't have to completely pulverize it. Oh. <laughs> wow, you did pulverize it. Well, okay. you told me to squeeze. Okay, well, you don't have to literally turn it into mush. You well, can just... You know, it, I follow directions. Well, that's debatable. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so now what we're going to do Hold on. is... Hold Oh, more. good. Now, right? <laughs> clean your hands. So now what's... You can't really see clean this. hands, people. You can't really see this because there's so much in here. But what I'm doing is I'm using my wooden spoon, and you can just feel the, the, all of that that kind of got stuck to the bottom of the pan. And there is so much flavor in there. And as you, as you just do this, it comes free and it adds so much uh, flavor to, to this sauce. So now what we're going to do, this is going to take just a little bit of, not long, we're going to bring this to a boil. To a boil. And then okay. we're going to let it simmer for just 10 minutes. And that's really important because that's when that alcohol is going to cook out. And then we're going to transfer it to the slow cook portion of the Yes, and I'm going to clean my... Hands. You probably should. <laughs> oh, right. okay. So um, already the smell is amazing. That, that it wine, smells hearty. In it, here. it does. <laughs> it just starts to transform from a wonderful glass of wine into this really hearty, delicious, delicious, amazing. A wonderful um, glass of wine. It transforms from just something that would be a wonderful oh, glass you mean of the, wine. The wine transfers. The, yes, got yeah, it. Into okay. So now what we need. <laughs> so this sorry. is good. So this is cooked. Like I said, I, this simmered. We need that alcohol to uh, to cook out, and it and it also thickens a little bit. Yes. But we also want to help thicken it a little bit yes. more. So we're doing Another a cool little thickener uh, trick that we have, which is you probably never seen this before, but I think it works and it's great. Um, I don't like to just dump raw flour into anything. It's, yes. It doesn't work and it doesn't give it a good taste. Um, but so what I do is I just take some um, tomato paste. I do a heaping tablespoon of uh, tomato paste and I add that to about a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Yes. And then the loon here has and just been just helping. And then you just mush it around. And just kind of mash it around. with some. It doesn't have to turn into like a solid piece of goop. And if there's a little bit of uh, tomato we flour, that's okay. But what that's going to do is that's going to act as a... Thickener, thickener or a roux almost. Yeah, it is. It is. It basically, I call it kind of like my tomato roux. Um, I love a good tomato roux. Tomato roux. <laughs> anyway, so now what we're going to do is that just starts to work its magic and it really, Ooh, it, it adds some oh. to flavor and it also just thickens and it's already, it's already, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I love right. it. I love this beef stew so much. I'm adding a teaspoon Sorry. of, it's okay, a te teaspoon of kosher salt and about, we love pepper, about a half a teaspoon <clears throat> of freshly ground pepper. And then, <clears throat> I am so excited. I uh, have got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Now, it's at this point um, that you could absolutely transfer this to your slow cooker because what we want to have happen is we want that meat to become so tender, tender that it just basically melts in your mouth yes. with each bite. Put it right there. Um, so, so people can you see. can achieve that. Put it right you there. can achieve Thank that you. <laughs> through um, obviously a slow cooker or a, just slow cooking in your oven. But we're, so we're going to do it in our oven. A lot of people are kind of like, well, if you're going to, the great thing about a slow cooker is you just put everything in there and then you just set it and walk away, you know, and it's done. <laughs> this is one of those things that you do have to do some work ahead of time before you I, put it into the into I, the slow cooker. I am curious. You as are. To why you brought this to me, and why didn't I bring the meat to you? Well, because I've learned over the years, it's easier just to bring the meat to you. Because <laughs> the meat will eventually find you. That is so silly. <laughs> okay, so now we're no, gonna... but I was gonna. I was just telling everybody that we. I love this so much, and about halfway through our lives, right. you started making it with the red wine. The, oh the, yeah, and it and it just was like. Okay, I love this. Uh, I know, obviously, traditional beef stew. Okay, you here, yep. put that in there while I talk <laughs> because no one. Open up the doors. Okay, 
So traditional beef stew, you know, is, is beef stock and potatoes and carrots, and I love all that, and we're gonna have that on the blog here before too long. But you guys, this is so hearty and so delicious, you're gonna love it. So now it's gonna slow cook for two hours, anywhere from nine hours, to, or nine hours, 90 minutes to two hours. We're gonna stir it a little bit of the way, and then it's ready to eat. Yeah. Yay. Oh yes. my gosh. I mean Oh Lord, this okay. house smells so amazing. It's crazy. And we've been I've been dying. I, I know, I dying. know. The dogs, we've all been like, you know, <laughs> sort of gathered around the it's stove like there's, saying, there's is it ready? Meat, is there's it ready? Meat somewhere. Okay, so this <laughs> is folks, this is done and the smell is insane. You yes. see it got nice and thick. So this went for you can, I let it go for two hours because I want that meat to get so tender. It's really probably gonna be ready to eat after certainly 90 minutes um but anyway so i uh, after 90 minutes i know after an hour i took it out i gave it a stir because you don't want it to stick to the bottom it might do that a little bit and then after another 30 minutes i did that again and um and then when it was finished at two hours um i used my glovin uh, mitts and i brought it out here and i very carefully removed that lid and well, let it sit a little incredible. bit so it doesn't burn yeah them. so you see it's bubbling and incredibly hot so you, <laughs> burn you know i mouth. don't want to burn the lip the lips. loon lips <laughs> no you worse don't. than loon lip burns yeah. Let's, okay, so let me get rid of this, and now we're going to just, so yes. anyway, I let this sit for, you know, you want to let it sit for about 10 minutes. Oh, that's nice and thick and delicious. It really is. I mean, talk about, yes. now you understand why we call it hearty. Hearty. This is a big bowl I'm serving that, here. Look at the color. The color is The color just, is just beautiful. I made a mess. I, I know. Do. Why do you do that? No, I, like I want to get right to the No, good I need to, like, we need to not cut to it until okay. people, until it's all nice and delicious. Oh, okay. You, oh. mm, 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 mm. Okay. All right. Um, Look at that. And then, of course, you want to serve it with some bread. Yes. We uh, had, went to the bakery. They had some fresh focaccia. Yeah, here we go. But I'm going to try Focus without the that, bread yeah. first. Yeah. Mm. No, that is still piping hot. Yes, so. I know, Chris. You're you okay. do this you to me all the time. Through. Yeah, I, I usually do. <laughs> then you get mad at me for not talking because my mouth is burning. I never get mad at you for not talking. Rude. The smell. It's like we're in the French, the French Alps. Is it crazy? Is the... <laughs> I always like try to speak through his taste buds. It's... it's it is so good! I, I wanted to jump up and down, but <laughs> I don't want to hit my microphone. Oh, well. Wow! <sighs> That's good. That is delicious. That's good. That like, is amazing. That, the taste of that stew, with the red wine, because it's it's it, you don't taste the red wine, no. but you taste the, depth the essence that it brings, yeah. of this, and it's so good. And then the 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 uh, the the vegetables are so soft and and talk to me a little the about meat, the meat, the meat, <laughs> the meat. The meat is flavorful and chew. <laughs> I know. It's, you, 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 you take one you, bite of that and you say, "I'm glad then, to meet you." And, <laughs> It melts in your mouth. Melts That's what in your I mouth. like to hear. I, um, you know what? You like. This is one thousand percent Loon approved. Wow. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have put my stamp on it. Yes, <laughs> it may be cold outside, but it is warm and hearty inside. Oh, Chris, take some oh, of that real okay. quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna tear off some of the bread and oh dip my it gosh, in there. I'm so excited. Mm, I mean, so this, good. I, like you're eating this in the Alps in Switzerland, yes, in a chateau, or just in South Dakota, or South Dakota. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh! Whoa, I like the focaccia, little Italian. <laughs> I know that is mm. that's insanely good. Every time wow. I make this, it just it's mind blowingly good. Oh, I'm never, I can't yeah, stop. This. Oh, oh, wow. I know. Mm. I know. Wow. Mm. Now you can get this recipe. <laughs> Sorry. I'm stuffing my face. And many, many more mm. on howtofeedaloon.com. Thank you. And be sure to go to social media. I've got my own pot right here. I know. <laughs> and share and like us and do all of that. And guys, oh. if you want to eat the best, 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 beef, blah, blah, blah. best beef stew you've ever had. Yeah. Make this. Yeah, and, don't um, sit around and stew. Okay. Make the stew. <laughs> don't, you know, don't stew if I should make it or not. I just totally stole that from you, I'm sure. Thank you. All right. So Yay! Bye, everyone. Make some stew and Yay! smile. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>